Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of your pirating adventure, your favourite channel to be on for all news concerning, I mean, <laughs> this is Pirate Emperor, we've got Age of Pirates, Island Treasure Hunter, what's the other one, I think it's Ancient Sages as well, there's so many versions of this game on iOS and Android, I can't keep up, but we're back again on the original account, which is the Zeno account, we're really just going to be doing a short, uh, I guess a short video on the new events. Now, to say that you should spend your gems on this one, I feel like it really comes down to what you're looking to do for your ghost situation. Now, this ghost here, the Onigashima ghost, the Oni ghost, honestly, really good, really good ghost. Um, you can probably see the, the drop rates here. It's a 2.5% chance to get one. There is a star up similar event. So every 50 pulls, you will get a guaranteed copy of this ghost. And at the 60th pull, you'll actually get a copy as well. So it kind of makes you think, hey, look, you do 60 pulls, you get two of the ghosts and you sort of leave it at that. You might get lucky in between, you might not, but at least around 60, you get your guaranteed two copies, which is not a terrible investment. I think, though, it really just depends on your team and what you're looking for. So, essentially, this is a Discord ghost. So, if you don't know what Discord does, it basically forces the enemy team into doing their normal attack. Um, and it's pretty, it's pretty effective. Look, it's pretty effective. You will attack uh, other units on the enemy team. So, basically, they'll attack themselves. And a pretty, it's pretty much just a disruptive type ghost. Now... Obviously, it's not like overpowered because the percent rates for it to actually happen are not really significant, but it does actually start to get a little bit more, I guess, uh, quote unquote significant when you get into the higher tier versions of it. Now, if we go over to here and we have a look at the very tippy top five star version of it, it actually has a 40% chance to inflict discord on each unit for one round. Now, because it attacks pretty much all of the enemy units, or it can multiply, does multiple attacks, if I can speak English, on whoever is remaining alive, chances are that it will inflict it at the highest version of this ghost. Now, I do have to say, um, outside of that, it does have a healing ability, I believe. Uh, there are some other aspects to it, but it's probably one of the better ghosts in the game at this stage. Is it worth spending the gems if you have the spare gems to spend, yes. If you might have, I don't know, might have bought some of these ones prior in the other event. Because the other event was pretty trash. You know, the one where the Odin um, food sticks. These ones are pretty accessible. I personally bought a couple on the other accounts just because I was nowhere near getting the heroes. But you were able to get 10 of those for 150. But that event's gone, so... It sucks that they didn't continue it for at least one more day because I think a lot of players would have just bought the ghost tokens. So that's sort of another reason to save up some of your ghost tokens as well, potentially for an event that comes around. Now, I can confirm on my other account that this is not available in the ghost pack, which sucks. For those that don't know what the ghost pack is, if you go over to here, we go over to the king's thing, get out of there, let's go all the way down to the bottom and have a look there. The ghost pack not in the Bestoke Ghost Pack at this stage. So realistically, if you are building this uh, and you're committed to building this ghost, then go ahead and grab that. As for the other rewards, honestly, I feel like they're pretty self-explanatory, but we can have a look as well. What's the... Uh, I don't even know if they've got a tab with the rewards this time around. Probably doesn't even really have one. Let me have a look to see if there's anything on the screen that we can have a look at. No, it's probably not going to give us any of the other rewards. Basically, you get food. Food for your ghosts. You get some uh, gold jackpot little token things over here. A million berries in each of those. The drop rates. I mean, there should be a drop rates, right? If I can get back into it. It should technically be a drop rate for this event. Guarantee purple every time you do a 10 bomb, right? So, there is that. That's ghost food. So, mmm. I wish they would have done a, a drop rate, right? We got the preview. That's pretty self-explanatory. Does this chord uh, on Chopper. Uh, we don't really need to talk about that. Is there... 
No, I really don't think they're going to show us the drop rates this time. Anyway, the drop rates, 2.25% chance to get the legendary. The rest of it is just food. Um, is what it is. Think about it. I personally would think about building it, particularly for late game. Definitely works as the slot two. Um, you always want to go with the shield ghost in the slot one to mitigate as much damage as possible, particularly if you're fighting other quote unquote um, tier three fighters because they have that ability to do extra damage to shielding. Um, anyway, it all works out in the end, right? Get the ghost if you are looking to be in the meta. Now, as for this one, pretty self-explanatory. We got Shanks up there. We do have Zephyr. So you all know what's going to be happening on the Marine account. Um, you got Kid as well, which is an interesting choice. Then, of course, you got Yamato and Ryu or Rumiu or whatever you want to name them. Uh, honestly, not a bad lineup, but just remember Christmas is around the corner and Christmas time is probably going to have a, a new super duper hero. So maybe say for that every single day, you're going to get some of these ghost tokens. So if you try to factor this into the overall expenditure of gemages, um, what is it? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 15, 16. I think you get like 16 over six, seven days, which is like, I mean, it's, it's a quarter of the way there, right? It's like a fifth of the way there. So if you want to spend some gems, you could probably get there. Uh, with about 10k gems, you can get the guaranteed two copies of the Ghost. Now, in saying that, if you have a look at it, Star Up Plants, uh, I picked Kid. I, I had copies. Pretty stock standard. We all know what the drill is. This one reset. So if you're chasing some extra foodies, make sure you're doing it in the event. As for that, stock standard, if you want to whale hard, you will get a Shanks copy at a whopping 1,000. Actually more expensive than the Zephyr copy, which I think is ironic. I think the game loves Shanks, personally. <laughs> and of course, then we move on to this a weird, wonderful, wacky table. We're going to explain a little bit about this. This is mainly for those that have an excess amount of gems to spend. Now, I think I need to grab, if my memory serves me my memory serves me i need to get some gems so i need to get this one and then uh yeah we might be a little bit short here is there any way for me to get like 50 or 60 gems might have to risk it for the biscuit maybe we get lucky we can pull this one i'm gonna have to gamble a little bit here and see whether or not we can actually get lucky on some of these gems i don't think we're going to be able to I need like a 600. Give me a 600 gem one. Come on. We might get one though. Could be awkward. Hella awkward. Uh, come on game. Yeah, we go. That's what we're looking for. All right. 600 gems got us to the 8k. That's what the plan was all about. Now, obviously we are going to talk a little bit about what you should do. So the more gems you spend, the bigger the discount. Um, there isn't really any reason technically to buy any of the other sort of items. Yes, you will get them slightly cheaper than you normally would, but they're around the same comparative price. In my opinion, they're around the same comparative price as the territory. So if you go into your Sky Adventures, they're about the same price as if you would get them in the summoning shop. Um, I can't show you any examples there because that sucks. I haven't done that one. Obviously, you see me reset that. But they're in the same price as, say, the, the Skypea shop. Um, maybe if you get really lucky and you roll through the, the regular shop discount, you can get some of these at a little bit of a cheaper price. But the idea is that you will be able to get a copy of one of these quote-unquote elite tier heroes at a reduced gem to uh, shard ratio. So we need to build Shira on this account. And so if you see at the bottom of the screen over here where I'm tapping, there is a total price, there's a reduction price, and then there's the ultimate purchase price. So originally the game is telling me that if I was to buy 50 of these shards, it would cost me 13,000 gems. But because I am buying it in this event, I'm getting a 5,000 gem reduction. And ultimately, the grand total price is 8,000 gems. Now, if you were to do it for all of these other ones, we can, of course, do this. You can reset it by going in and out. 
And then if you wanted to have a look at, say, how much it would cost to buy all of the Ascension cards, you would get essentially 2K Ascension cards for 1200 Good value. Not going to say it's not bad value. I think when you put it down to the statistics here, what's that? 1200 of those, 500 a piece. How much are they 500 a piece for? Let's have a look. Let's do some adventuring. Um, so these ones, I mean... Yeah, when you put it in this perspective, though, you, you kind of, for each role, like for the 20, the 20 role, and I have to be mindful, not go under it. So for 500 gems, right, I think it's about 300, uh, for 500 essential stones, I believe it's about 300 gems, which if you really put it in the comparison, is that good value though? I don't know if that's great value. It might be, it might be on point, like it might be equal to. So you could be getting these at the store price, maybe slightly cheaper. Um, superiors, we all know that they're like a daily discount of one. Like that's, the, you're not saving any money on these. You're not saving any money on these at all. Um, but the more that you purchase, i.e. the more times that you say spend some money, these might come out to be cheaper. So what we'll do is keep a note on this. That's a thousand without any regular reductions. If we were to buy all of these ones out, so we need to do this regardless. We're going to buy all these ones out. Maybe we'll get a reduction um, generically on any of the other items. So let's go ahead. We're going to spend that. We're going to get that copy of you. Now, I don't believe these reset every day, which sucks because if they did, that would be great. Um, but now if I was to buy this, what would the price be? The same. So honestly, no, not realistically worth buying it. Grab your free one of these baggies every single day. You might get something. Um, you're not really getting anything good out of that. Let's be honest. Realistically, this event is only if you really want to buy one of these uh, heroes. I mean, Daddy Garp's up there too. I mean, honestly, I feel like the game is telling me to build Garp. We do have Shanks as well, which is kind of cool for those. Uh, well, actually on this account too. I was thinking about buying it for Shanks, but the reality is... I need this one if I want to continue to use a Shira. Actually, you know, why we're here, we might as well level all up. Because, well, you know, why not? <laughs> Just do it. We'll do it unless I, you know, I'll probably forget. I'm not going to lie. If I don't do it, I'm going to forget. Um, do I want to build Jinbei on this account? Probably not. But do I want to throw away a hero copy? No, not when we have one of these ones in the bag. We're just going to throw you out and stick it there. I like to swap gym bays. Um, it's my trick. I swap gym bays and I seem to get her. I kid you not. Every time I do it, I seem to get copies of Shira on the other accounts that I seem to have amassed my crap on. Um, but look, honestly, yes, artifact. What should we do for you? Should we go fully offensive or should we go heal effect? I mean, there's a part of me that says fully offensive wouldn't not be a bad idea more attack you have, the more heal percentages, plus you do extra damage with your bleed ability. I feel like we could go grit on you. I don't regret that. Maybe, uh, I hope we have a full, do I have a full grit set? I think I have a full fine grit set, so at least we can get some base statistics there. Um, for those that don't know, if we get the star level, the star level doesn't matter. The, um, the level as in fine regular and ultimate is what that matters so we're going to go ahead and use that that would be good can level you up too because we've got a bucket load of gold and food on this account get you all the way up there we might actually hit 2.5 million ironically this is my weakest account now <laughs> except for the free to play account but that doesn't count right because it's free to play but still we can go there and i guess this being a, a little bit of a video can show you what distilling does so for those that don't know um you get the little uh little pearls and then you can actually distill any artifact from fine to ultimate now i want to see if uh um, i should probably change you though why do i why do i still run a fury set on you this makes no sense i feel like <clears throat> i feel like it would be better if i ran a valor set on you I wonder if I even have a Valor set, to be honest. Yeah, I do. Do I have another Valor ring? I do. Starfind Valor. Last but not least, this could be the, my downfall. I have no Valor set. Ah, that sucks. 
Well, you know, I'll just run the split set at this point. But in saying that, this is my ultimate, so I'll waste some stuff here just to show you. So you get the little pearlies, uh, for those that don't know where to get the pearls, you can also get them from sacrificing auto-selling artifacts. So regular one star will just sell some one stars. So you get some pearls. Um, you will need a lot of pearls, by the way, by the end of it. I hope I blew through a lot of my other account, uh, rolling for some high statistics. But generally speaking, if you have a look at it, your distill ability for fine is only one. Your distill ability for ultimate is two random statistics. If you wanted to lock them in, I'll show you in a second, although I don't think I have enough gems to do it. Um, basically, you just re-roll for better statistics down the bottom. Now, that's better than what I currently have. Uh, if I wanted to lock it in, it costs 50 gems. If I wanted to lock both in, it actually costs 200 gems, which is ridiculous. So it's better to go with something that you actually want. Uh, for me personally, don't really need any of those statistics. But as you can see, they start to get higher with their bars. And eventually, you may actually get a purple bar. Now, HP is a little bit better than what we've got. So as you can probably tell, you can keep going through here. It's addictive. I'll tell you this now. It's addictive. You will blow through a lot gambling for higher tier ones. Now, I'm not saying that it's not a bad idea, like physical damage, HP up. Like, in my opinion, again, better statistics right same hp level but now you're doing more physical damage it's really just min maxing what your character can do now overall you're probably thinking it's not going to be that much but if you do roll all the way up to the purple tier you will be able to actually get around four percent i believe four percent is where it caps out so you're going to get like four percent stats and if you times that out by four and you have everyone as ultimate level. I mean, that's that's quite a lot of percentages when you think about it. Like that's an extra twenty percent, um, or thereabouts. That's sixteen percent, uh, depending on which stat you actually land on. You could like stack up crit. You can stack attack. It really, just depends how much gems you have and how many of those little uh, distilling things you've got. Now, the other way to get that is obviously in the instances, ship maintenance. Uh, every single time you pull here, there's a chance to get it. Um, I actually need to rank this up so they can unlock the second part. Um, been a little bit lazy with that one because I've got some of these ones in the back. Um, that might be for another video. I need to fix this account. Honestly, I need to fix this account. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff just lying around in my bag that I could potentially do. I am trying to push everyone up to the second star, so E2 or 12 star. Um, I do have a lot of the food available to do it, except for you, because you're the newest hero. Well, that's a problem, because I do want to run you as the secondary support. Actually, her and Otohime is, is pretty pretty dangerous when it comes to support. I just need to get a, a higher tier tank. So my off tank is actually Luffy in slot one. Um, it works. It really does. It's a frustrating team to fight. But again, it really depends if Shanks pops off and I can keep everyone alive. That kind of leads us to the last point. Make sure that you are participating in here. Even if you don't spend all of your challenge tickets, it's really, really important that you at least attempt to participate. Because this is like literally the only place in the game where you can get free awakening gems. There is a limit to how many you can buy each week, which is five. Um, I personally think they do that because they know that uh, everybody needs them. And when I say everybody needs them, you really do need them. So to go to 12 star, you actually need 10 of them. And to 13 star, you need 15. That's realistically the stop gap between free to play and pay to win. Everybody, doesn't matter who you are, you need to participate to get that. And the only other place that you can actually get them is by purchasing this pack here. And this is the best value in the game at the moment to get the 15 awakening gems of course you need to participate and actually clear this out but in saying that you actually do get some awakening ruins as well so the tier 5 or tier, sorry tier 4 pack completing this is the best value in the game currently and you do get one of these selection chests at the very 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 bottom which again is six star spirit food this one ultimately Yes, buy this if you are a light spender, save your money up for uh, the event. Maybe you can get some discounts later on down the track. That's the best one to buy, in my opinion. Um, honestly, I, I stumbled upon that. I was looking for ways to get this bloody awakening gem. Then I thought, 
Let's just check over here because I haven't done that for a little while. Anyway, enough chit chat. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, notification button if we can say it right. Jump into our Discord in the link in the description field below. I do know that the Android version of this game doesn't appear anymore, but there is some app pack links in our Discord. If you want to play it, you can join and ask there. Um, just because it's easier to share the app packs through the Discord than it is through the comment section. Um, I don't want to promote anything too, because obviously if you're jailbreaking stuff, it's not that great for your phone. But there is it available. It's from the official Discord, so I can link the direct. I can link the. I can link it to there and then show you where to go if I can say this properly. Geez, tongue tying today, PP. Um, also on iOS, it comes under a new game. I think it's Pirate Battles uh, Ancient Sages. So I'll also link that as well. But thanks for watching. Until next time.